winner moves on. Loser sees their season come to an end. MLB Network brings you exclusive coverage of the winner-take-all wildcard game. It's the one-game American League wildcard playoff between the Baltimore Orioles and the Houston Astros. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you into another edition of Major League Baseball coverage on MLB Network. I'm joined by Dan Plezak, and Dan, let's take a look at how these two ball clubs got to where they are. Well, everyone has different opinions about these one-game wildcard matchups. Kind of tough that your season comes down to this after such a long season, but it certainly creates a lot of excitement and drama. The pressure's on, so we'll see who handles it better and finds a way to win. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch. Let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, your 2022 Houston Astros. Quickly now, we'll look at the two men with a lot on their shoulders. Our two starters here in this wild card matchup. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Uh, got him swinging on the split fingered pitch, and that's out number one. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Make you pay big time. Well hit out to straightaway center. Eaton going back. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The one two is at the knees and called strike three. The one two is swung on and missed strike three. Good job now Aaron Hicks. One one one. And grounds it toward the hole. Scope dives. What a stop. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Ooh, bang bang play right there. Two, Side. two, two, two. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. And that runner will go no further than second, as there are two aboard now. You know, as a former infielder, against right-handers at times, just not as proficient at putting the ball in play when it's coming from that side. On to belt, and they turn the double play. That ends the inning. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Three innings in the books. No score on MLB Network. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. One, two, three. Go the Astros. Through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. Got him. Skied into straightaway right. Solaire is there. Two gone. First at bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Popped him up. No problem over there for the baby giraffe belt, and that ends the inning. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. There to take it is belt for the first out.
grounded to the right. And he'll reach to knock this ball down. And they'll wind up with no play here as he reaches first safely. Castilla, no hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. And a dive, but he's back. Here's the 0 and 2. A line shot to third base. And the runner gets back. No double play. Right three, side three, hit hard. Three, That's three, through, three, and he's got his first base hit. He's on, one for on. three. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two of them. Up, Saws him up. off here as his ball's popped into the air. And he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. Two left for the Astros. We are still scoreless. And here's the big left-handed bat of A.J. Reed. And now a pitch on the way. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Going over 60% of his first pitches for strikes. He'd like to do a little bit more, but so far, so good. Behind 0-2 now. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Seared down the first baseline. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Here comes another 0-2. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. Still even at two and two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. It seems like they always come back to bite you. And it's fouled away. Hey, this is a heck of a battle. Still, still facing the starter. If they would have had some A-Bs like this earlier in the game, I, I think they get into the bullpen by this time. The payoff pitch one more time. Hit back up the middle. Machado is there. Throw gets him. Two down. He's ready. Here's the first offering. High in the air out to center field. Eaton is under it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. In the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Soler is there. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Our line score there says it all to this point, or if you prefer, it doesn't say anything. Nothing, nothing, our score, as you start to wonder if anyone's going to play to run in this one. A while longer. Hit out towards second. A flip from short right gets him, and there are two away. Good range showing off into the hole right there. That's not an easy play, but these guys make it look that way sometimes. A little too quick. And then tried to emergency hack late. Hard hit ball to second. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. One The one and one pick. Pitch popped up. Belt has a play. One out. Ninth inning. These are the best relievers, and they're just lurking out there. What a terrific job up to this point. On to first, and now the Astros are up against it, down to their final out now. Bounce towards the second baseman. Flips it underhand. Throw is in time, and they will advance to the next round of the playoffs. And these wild card games are hard enough as your entire season rests on nine innings of baseball. But they put aside all the distractions that come with playing on the road and handled their business. Now it's on to the division series, one step closer to the World Series title. for one final check of the line score as you see the key players there in this shutout victory.
Well we've talked about his dominance all throughout the game and he ended up finishing what he started a complete game shutout. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah there's absolutely no debate as far as I'm concerned. He dominated this game and he really never allowed the opposition to gain any kind of momentum. This was fun to watch. Wow. So for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire great crew, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching the American League wildcard game.